heart on my lips. I gave it all I could give. I made it hot at the crib. I can't. Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Fly Guy JLG, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, anyways, man, now today I got a different type video for y'all, man. I know 2K20 is literally around the corner, man. I'm not the type of person to drop news, but I'm just as anxious as y'all, bro. So, yesterday I went on Twitter and I looked up my boy Blueba. Now, if you don't know who Blueba is, Blueba, he's always on Twitter. He's like a 2K developer or whatever. And so, he just always replied back to people when they ask them questions about 2K. And, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's pretty cool. But check this out, man. I went on Twitter and I'm going to show you guys on the screen what I see. Um, it was a question that this nigga, um, I don't know, Michael asked Blueba. He said, are mid-range Deadeye and deep-range Deadeye combined or are they the same? Uh, Blueba replied back saying, they are combined into a single Deadeye badge. Pretty much the same function as last year. It reduces defensive impact late on late closeouts, but now it works from any range. So with that being said, bro, that is a definitely game changer bro i know for me because i like to grind for my badges bro what that basically means is for people that's like stretch uh people that's like a pure sharp people that's just normal builds y'all only gotta grind that one badge and it's mid-range that i and it's deep range that i all combine to the same thing that shit dope all right so on to the next one bro this is a tweet that mike wayne just randomly put out uh he says i'm working on making the shot meter off an option into a pro gamer setting high risk rewards if you can hit the excellent window huge shot percentage boost but if you're a couple frames off you most likely will miss so with that being said bro basically he's trying to say if you turn your shot meter off you will have a better chance of making your shot but if you don't have that muscle memory to your jump shot then you're not gonna be able to hit it and you gonna break but with that being said, this is this is something I wouldn't call like a pro gamer setting because I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like I don't really, I ain't gonna really mess with that. But I could say for the centers that's been hitting in 19 in the corner on the twos, you know, lockdowns that's been doing that. This is probably the best settings for lockdowns, big mans, you know, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, bro. But that's still kind of dope, you know. All right, so on to the next one, man. So my boy John had asked Blueba, are we going to save the are we gonna get the save ball animations on the sideline we we can actually save the ball and just not drive for the ball? Okay, that was a good question. It says Blueba replied back saying, Yeah, we also add the ability to pass out mid drive so you won't have to wait until you get all the way seated position like before. Oh, so what basically what that means is you know when you play 2K and you like on the twos court or you like on the threes court and you drive in but you you realize that you know a whole bunch of people in the paint so you want to pass out to your mans because he's wide open by the three but instead of passing to your mans it pass out of bounds basically they're fixing that in 2k20 which is a good that is a great addition to 2k20 bro because you know what i'm saying i used to get so mad bro and i just had to understand so now i can do that that's just that's a game changer for real all right so the next one this is the tweet again that he regularly just put out um, he says there's a badge called fancy footwork that helps you get past defenders with advanced gathers on the floor and acrobat is still here to help you finish at the rim now when I saw this tweet bro I just didn't know what to think the first thing I thought about is because you guys know I play pure I play uh play sharp so you know I'm used to dribbling and stuff like that that fancy footwork helps you get past defenders that sound like um that's like basically have like a point forward. Like if you ever played against a point forward on the twos court on 19, you you know they always got blow bys just because it was so fast. So if you make a point guard now, it seems like you can get fancy footwork and you can be able to do the same thing, which is a great addition to the game because now it's like everybody can really get blow bys if they grind their badges and stuff. And so the next one, uh, my boy Gecko got boards x Blueba. Even though volume shooter is a positive thing, because you know they're adding bottom, they're, they're adding volume shooter. Y'all remember volume shooter? That was like the worst thing on your player. You like you don't want that. And so he said, although volume shooter is a positive, only are we going to have microwave? Um, Blueber replied back saying microwave was re redesigned and changed to hot start. If you have this badge and you knock down your first jumper. You can get a boost on your shot ratings for a period of time. The more you shots you knock down without missing, the longer you keep your boost. Oh my God, yo, that's yo. So with that being said, man, they they definitely adding some new badges, bro. Like on some real, 
this is this is a game changer bro this this right here in particular is a game changer bro it's so much new stuff to 2k20 man it just got me so anxious man but that's all everything i seen on twitter that's all i wanted to really show y'all man um basically to me it seemed like 2k20 is based on how much you grind your player and how much you grind your badges um they're telling us everything about all these new badges that's coming out but at the same time they still haven't let us know if we can go ahead and grind all the badges because I heard some about we get like 80 badges that we can get, but I don't know yet, and I'm only gonna bring y'all the facts. Those are only the tweets that I saw on Twitter. But um, basically, I feel like 2K20 is just basically gonna be all about you grinding your mop player. The more badges you got, the more RP your nigga will be. You feel me? So honestly, with that being said, you can be able to create create a demigod on 2K20, bro, which is that's dope, bro. But other than that, man, this is the end of the video, man. Thank you guys for watching, man. If you're new, make sure you drop a sub. If you already sub, make sure you drop a like. And comment what you think about everything that's going on, man. I'm out.